what did you adjust uh, for the first few drives here last week? What would you like? What did you not like? Really? What did you like later? Yeah, I mean, obviously some, some, you know, you, you let the ball get loose a couple times both in the pass game and the run game, and you, and, you know, it's always easier to, to look back on it once you see it on video and you, you see a break. Oh, it's just blank, and, and as we tell the guys, it's never just anything. It's just our careers are on the line every Saturday, players and coaches, and so. Um, I think some of it, as we talk to the guys, is, is that, that trust factor. You just see periods of lack of trust. And, and one of the things I talk to the guys about is that we don't end a whole list of between each other. Obviously, you know, that's something you're always working on, player to player, coach to player, all that stuff. But you know, one of the things we highlighted is just you know the, the, the trust element in themselves. And in that moment, I'm playing my gap is all I need to do. You know, defending my man if I got a vertical two, or if I'm, I'm responsible for a tight end on the vertical. All I got to do, I don't, I don't want to overthink this thing. Um, and so I think a lot of that is just settling in and, and, and making sure that uh, we, we trust some of those things that uh, that we do on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. And yeah, a year ago we were uh, maybe screaming from the rooftops saying we're not getting it done on Tuesdays and Wednesdays and Thursdays and all those things. And one of the things, you know, kind of as we look at it right now, we got to make sure that we're doing the things on, on, on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. And uh, those things will show up on, on Saturdays. And obviously the opponent's going to make make it very difficult for us. We're going to try to you know mess with your eyes and token play fakes. And that, that's one of the things that kind of the second level of defense kind of struggle with a little bit. But uh, um, no, I, I would highlight the trust on those things, you know, and, I, and it's sometimes too when your back's against the wall, and it's a, you, know, you, you like to do it when your back's not against the wall. You say we're going to show up on a Saturday and do it for the jump. When your back's against the wall, what else you got? Which is just trusting each other and trusting yourselves. And I give the guys a lot of credit for doing that. Coach, Coach Riley talked about how early in that game you dialed up some of the perfect play calls and the players just didn't execute. How frustrating was that, and why do you think that? Happened? Well, it's it's little things. It, it's it's you know a, a third and two. Um, and, and you know you, you tackle it for two and a half. It's a third and nine, and you tackle it for nine and a half. And, and what it, and really, and as we talk to the guys, calls, calls are just eleven coordinated guys doing doing something. And you know, it's like a motion offense in basketball, or the same thing the offense is trying to do uh, in football. And so, you know, in, in those aspects of things, and, and some of it is just simply okay. We got to tackle a little bit lower. We're falling back. And some of that's not just in you know some of those key situations. And, and let's say, for instance, a third down, but it created a third and four because on first and ten it turns into a second and seven. Which in, in the stat sheet, you know, we're not we're not you know tore up about a three yard game, but man, that could have been a second and twelve. And so all those things. And so again, I, I highlight that we got to make sure in those moments, you know, when when you got eleven on the table and you get a chance to double down, man, you got to double down on some of them. And you're not always in that position. Believe me, there's other other ones that you want to have back. And so we we just got to uh, we got to know when those some of those moments occur. You know, you see that out ball on a, on a third and two, and it's something we worked all week. Oh man, you know that that's one that we're saying it's either a PBU or. A, it's going the other way type of, type of thing, which obviously Jacoby had another one later in the game, that we, which was really good to, to just mention one of them. So, um, but that's a constant. And, and, and again, it, it's not from lack of effort, which is a, which is a good thing. Um, but we got to make sure we get there a, a click sooner in some of those respects. Kalen was already coming off an All-American season, but where have you seen him make the most improvement this year? Yeah, I mean, I mean we asked a lot of them. You know, and then there's no no better way to put it. I mean, he, he doesn't get the opportunity to just do one thing on Saturdays. He's not one of those guys that you're, you know, looking obviously number one to get him out of the game. And if, if, even if he has to come out of the game, he's telling to go back out. You know, and so um, he, he's um, you know been, been been tremendous in terms of when the ball's in the air. Um, you know, and, and obviously not, not without exceptions, but you know, like by any DB. But um, no, you you just from a trust standpoint, I'm saying that word too much. But in, in terms of us with him. You know, you want him everywhere. You know, you know, if you put him on the boundary half, you want him in that, well, the boundary half. You want him in the post. You want him in the run fit. But oh, you really like to put him in man to man on their best guy. And so, we're trying to do a combination of all those things, and that that's something that'll continue. But uh, no, he's a great Trojan. He, he's, he's a great, great person. Um, he's uh, he's everything you want to coach and, and be a USC Trojan. So no, he's he's tremendous. Lincoln was Lincoln was talking about how you guys kind of had to get creative a little bit this week with lack of you know cornerback mm -hmm. depth. Are there any kind of safeties or guys in the secondary that you feel comfortable you know in a pinch kind of sliding over there? Yeah, we'll constantly look at it. You know, you know, Profit made a play at the end of the game, which was, was really good. And they're going to attack you too when you see a new corner come in late. You know, I think we're down three corners by the end of that thing, and the guys got to step up. And you know, obviously now with the work week, you know, going into this next one, we'll, we'll, we'll you know uh, look at some things and, and, and possibly move some checkers around. And, um, you know, and, and then the other side of it is guys got to step up. You know, not just like on a, on a Saturday game day, but you know, going into this next one. You know, um, somebody, you know, guys ask for an opportunity, um, and you just don't know when it's going to come. So, uh, no, we'll look at all those things. I mean, that is a specific guy to highlight. I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't go there yet, but uh, you know, some of the same faces you saw last week. Thank you, Coach. All right, thank y'all.